The first learning outcome of this reading has to do with Modigliani and Miller propositions related to capital structure. Now here we will consider two scenarios. One scenario is without taxes and the other is with taxes. For each scenario, we have two propositions. Proposition 1, which deals with the value of a firm and Proposition 2, which deals with the cost of equity. So let's consider a scenario where we don't have any taxes. Here, Proposition 1 is that the value of a leveraged firm is equal to the value of an unleveraged firm. In other words, the amount of debt in the capital structure does not impact the value of a firm. Proposition 2 is that the cost of equity is equal to R0, which is the cost of equity for a firm with zero debt. So think of the zero as zero debt plus R0 minus RD. So again, R0 is the cost of equity for a firm with no debt minus the cost of debt times D over E. So in other words, the cost of equity is a linear function of the debt to equity ratio. This line over here is the cost of equity. And notice as debt to equity increases, the cost of equity increases. This over here is the cost of debt. And we are assuming in this simplistic world that the cost of debt remains the same regardless of the debt to equity ratio. The dotted line is the weighted average cost of capital. The weighted average cost of capital is equal to the weight of debt times the cost of debt plus the weight of equity times the cost of equity. Now notice this line is flat even though the cost of equity is clearly increasing. The reason is the cost of equity is going up but the weight of equity is decreasing as we move from left to right. So overall the weighted average cost of capital is staying constant. And again, this is in a world without taxes. Moving now to a scenario with taxes, the value of a leveraged firm is equal to the value of an unleveraged firm plus TD. T is the tax rate, D is the level of debt. And the reason we are adding this term is that interest payments on debt are tax deductible. So what we notice here is that when we do have corporate taxes, the value increases as we take on more debt. And here we are ignoring financial distress and bankruptcy. So as D goes up, given a particular tax rate, the value of a leveraged firm goes up. So this is proposition one with taxes. Proposition two has to do with the cost of equity and the formula needs to be memorized the cost of equity is equal to R0, which is the cost of equity assuming zero debt, plus R0 minus RD. RD is the cost of debt. And then we do one minus the tax rate multiplied by the debt to equity ratio. Now, I'm showing you four formulas here, and these are from panel one in the curriculum. I suggest you just learn these formulas. When you learn these formulas, you realize that if T is zero, then you end up with this and here if t is zero you end up with that so if you remember these formulas that's good again for this one just remember r naught plus the difference and then since we have taxes we do one minus t and then debt to equity ratio so graphically here is the cost of equity that we are talking about debt to equity is the x-axis the Cost of capital is the y-axis. So this red line over here represents the cost of equity, which is this equation. Then the solid line over here is the cost of debt. And the dotted line is the weighted average cost of capital. So weighted average cost of capital is weight of debt multiplied by cost of debt multiplied by 1 minus t. And then we add the contribution of cost of equity. So weight of equity into cost of equity.